Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. So today I'm going for my antenatal and I'm taking my kids with me. I've already told them about the baby and I'm going to insert clips of it later on, but I'm taking them to I'm taking them for antenatal so that they can see the baby on ultrasound. Actually, Cora. I'm sure Eva might not really get it, but Cora gets it. So she's so excited to see her baby sister. So I'm going to take her, I'm going to take them there today. And then from there, we'll go and make her hair or something. Okay, so yeah, in my last video, I mentioned that I was having headaches and stuff like that. And a lot of people were advising me on what to do. Um, check your BP, check this, check that, you know. So yeah. I'm going to check everything today even though i know that nothing is wrong with me in jesus name okay i just feel that it's um lack of sleep that is causing me because i don't sleep very well at night anymore so i think that's what makes me start feeling headaches in the morning but yeah aside that i'm good um cora also thank you guys so much for checking up on cora as well uh yes i don't i'm not sure exactly what the throat infection was but it's her clearing after she started taking her antibiotics and vitamin c so she hasn't completed her dose but i'm sure she's going to complete it tomorrow or so so yeah she's totally fine now she's talking well uh, even though when she opens her throat i can see there's a little bit swollen but all those white stuff has cleared and she's no more complaining of she's now eating better so yeah i'm going to carry you guys along for all our activities today this is cora say hi <laughs> so what are we doing today? We are going to the hospital to see the baby in the laptop. Yes, no, in the computer. In the computer. Yes, it's an ultrasound. Ultrasound. Yes, we're going to do ultrasound scan. So they will do that in my belly. I do not check the baby. <laughs> are you excited to see the baby? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Eva. See, are you excited to see your baby sister? Huh? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Eva just knew her name, girl or boy. She said it already. She said what? A girl and a boy. No, it's only a girl. I thought it's only a girl now. Girl, she said it. Eva, is it a boy or a girl? Yeah. It's a girl. <laughs> It's your baby sister, so it is a girl. Yes, that's what I said the last time. Yeah. So, Cora and Eva. Yes, mommy. Have you noticed that my tummy is very big? Yes. Do you know why? No. Eva, mm -hmm. do you notice that my tummy is very big? Yes. Do you know why? Yes. Uh, why is my tummy big? Why do you think my tummy is big? I think there's a baby inside. Eh? Baby inside. You think there's a baby inside? Baby Speak up now. There's a baby inside. Yes. Who told you? It's my tablet. Your tablet yes. told you. <laughs> yes, my tablet can talk. <laughs> um, am I to please bring water? Cora is having hiccups. So yes, there's a baby inside my tummy. Baby? Yes. Eva, there's a baby inside my tummy. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it that they will understand. There's a baby inside my tummy. Oh. Are you happy? You want to hear the baby? Yes. No, you can't hear the baby. When we we'll go and do a scan, when we go to do a scan, you see the baby. You know what a scan is? No. A scan when they put that, I, that, I showed you on your tablet. That thing they did for Barbie. They put jelly on, on Barbie's tummy and put something and they'll be checking it. Okay. Drink drink water first. Is it two twins? No, it's just one. One baby. Okay. Eva, do you have any question? Mm -hmm. There's one baby. Yes. Two baby. No, it's one baby. There's one baby. Yes. What do you think the baby is? Do you think the baby is a boy or a girl? Uh, I think it's a girl. You think it's a girl? Yes. Eva. Eva. Hmm? 
Do you think the baby is a boy or a girl? A boy and girl. Eh. Yeah. Let me choose one. Eva, Eva, look. The baby here, is it a boy or a girl? Yes. Which one now? The boy and girl. Eh, uh, which one is it? A boy and girl. Which one? Choose one. Choose one. Choose one. Do you want boy or girl? No, that's my bedroom. Hmm? My bedroom. Your bedroom? Yeah, in my bedroom. I know. Do you want a boy or a girl? A boy and a girl. <laughs> you want a boy Choose and a girl? One. Choose, Choose one. Choose one. Eva. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Call one. 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 Is it boy or girl? One girl. One girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are both saying that this is going to be a girl, and to be honest, that is my own <laughs> my own prediction is that this is going to be a girl as well. So let's see how it goes. I think I'll take them for the consultation the day I'm going for the gender scan. I think I'll take them along just so that they can see everything and know whether it's a boy or a girl. Okay. Everything went well. My kids were so excited. They saw me take blood, um, give my urine, and also um, talk with the doctor. And then she scanned my belly, and they saw their baby sister, and they were really, really excited. <laughs> they were acting very calm, but I could tell that they were like, "Oh my God, what is happening? What's happening?" Even though, yes, I'm sure they scanned. They did not understand what they were seeing, but they just knew that they were looking at their baby sister. Anyway, yeah, then also I told my doctor about the headaches that I was experiencing. She asked me where I was feeling the headaches and I showed her and she said that they were stress headaches, okay? So she kept asking me, what are you bothered about? What are you always thinking about? What is stressing you? I said, me, I don't know because the truth is that I'm not, I'm not a, a very... I don't really let things bother me that much, so nothing is really bothering me. But I think it's just because I don't sleep. I told her that I don't sleep early simply because before I'll find a comfortable position, most times it's reach 1 a.m., 2 a.m., then I'll not sleep. Then, you know, by the time I wake up in the morning, I'll start feeling headaches. And I have to wake up and, you know, take care of my kids and stuff like that. And my kids are at home with me 247. 247, go and close your room door first. Uh, close my room door, then come now. So, yeah, I'm with my kids 247, and my husband is not around five weeks this was no more four weeks of the uh, two weeks of the month this one is five weeks in a row he's not around sometimes it, it almost enters six weeks okay so mommy i want to watch the video about uh the wait video you want to watch mm -hmm. uh, don't worry you see she, says she wants to watch the video about the baby in my tummy so yeah those are the things that i can attribute it to so she told me that okay for the sleep part that i should sleep with five pillows okay <laughs> Normally, I sleep with just one pillow, 
No, when my, not, when my husband is not around, I sleep with two pillows. But she said I should be sleeping with five pillows. She even showed me where I should position the pillows. Um, some of them is to reduce heartburn. So I need to elevate myself 45 degrees. The other one is just to get my body comfortable. Mommy. Yes. The other one is just to get my body comfortable. So... Um, what else? What else? Yeah, um, the baby is fine. Everybody, everything is fine. My blood work, everything was normal. My blood, my urine, uh, my BP, everything was perfectly good. So it's not even a health issue. It's more like I'm stressing myself and maybe a mental stress issue as well. So I've told myself, I've already told my husband, told that everybody should just leave me alone. Yes. What is it? You want this? You want the Fanta? I've not even had breakfast, so now I want to eat Gala and Fanta. The two things that I don't eat when I'm not pregnant, like before pregnancy, I never used to eat Gala, I never used to drink Fanta. But right now, what I'm craving is at right now, so I want to eat my Gala and my Fanta. And now this one has come now, she will soon finish it for me. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to reduce stress in my life because if I'm physically fine, then it means that it's me that is just causing whatever headaches i'm having and other other things yeah i'm so excited i've still not bought anything for the baby <laughs> i don't know i don't know what is wrong with me i don't even know if, it's, if that one is adding to the stress but you have to buy something for the baby yeah i've not bought anything but you have to buy her yeah i'll buy her things but i don't know i think that one is adding to my stress because i know that i should start buying things i've already put things in cart since amazon cart since I put things in my Amazon cart, I put things in AliExpress. I know shops where they sell baby things. Oh, yeah, go and buy now. I, I don't know what is delaying me. You so, hmm? I'm telling them. Okay, now what? The, well, it's not your own now. Nah. We're doing video, you know, you don't even want to do video. Tell them, what do you, what do you, did you see your baby sister? She was very Eva, Eva, uh -huh. you saw your baby sister. Were you happy? You like your baby sister? Me so yeah. I love my baby sister because she's my sister. Yes, you love your baby sister. You've always wanted three sisters, right? Yes. Yes, so now you're going to be three sisters. Yes. What what will you do for the baby when the baby comes? I'll I'll give her her our building blocks so she can play with. You give her your building blocks? Mm -hmm. That's all. Who is going to help me carry the baby, dress her up, bath the baby? Who is going to do that? Feed me. the baby. You me. feed the baby. Yeah. Eva, which one will you do? The baby. Yeah, what will you do for baby? The baby is the baby wants to sleep. The baby wants to sleep. Baby, you so, want to carry her in her bed. So you help babies to sleep. Good. High five. I know you're, you're a good big sister. And I'll sing for her so she can sleep. Yes. What kind of song will you sing? I'll sing for her Twinkle Twinkle Little Star so she can like it. Yes, you'll like it. My daughter was trying to you know, tell me how to make my kids bond better with, their, with themselves and with my baby. She was actually happy that I brought them along for the antenatal. So she was just like... Um, I should just try and involve them more. I should try and you know make them know that okay, this is their baby. They should be, they should feel responsible for the baby. And I was like, ah, I'm already doing that. But even aside doing that, one thing I know for sure is that my baby is in good hands. Like my kids are the best sisters anybody can have, and they have two different but complementary personalities. Okay, Cora is more of the caring, nurturing sister she's the kind of sister that you know if you are hurt if you are sad if you are um you're not feeling well or something she'll be very very she's a very very caring nurturing empathetic you know person and on the other hand this one is the protective defensive sister like don't even try her sister where she is because she will deal with you <laughs> Do you know how many times this child has warned me not to talk to her sister or not to touch her sister? Like, anytime maybe Cora does something wrong and I'm trying to, you know, tell Cora, or I want to punish Cora. 
If I come and warn me that she not punish Cora, you know, if Cora is crying, she'll come and tell me that she tell Cora sorry, that Cora is crying for what I did. I'm just like, like, madam, me and you, who is the mother in this relationship, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Eva is a very, very defensive and protective sister. She protects her <laughs> sister. Even though she, she looks for trouble, she looks for her sister's trouble, but she's the only one that's permitted to look for her sister's trouble. Eva is the kind of person that, I, I, I see her as the kind of person that if, somebody in school tries to bully Cora. she doesn't care that she's the younger one she will go and fight that person for her sister you know anyway so that's the updates my pregnancy updates is anything i'm supposed to say that i've not said i've told you guys everything is fine yeah um symptoms that i'm having like i said i don't i'm not really having too many you know terrible symptoms but i get exhausted easily which is normal with pregnancy i get exhausted easily i don't sleep well this baby this baby reminds me of eva eva was a jumper like kind of baby that was jumping pop pop but that's not how the baby is the baby's always jumping always kicking always you know changing position you know so it's a very very active baby so before i'll be comfortable at night to sleep it takes a while even during the day sometimes i'm just like like madam calm down now relax relax yourself <laughs> you know so yeah those are basically the symptoms that i'm having nothing else okay i don't know if you guys can see let me turn like this uh -huh. so yeah that's it that's my baby bump like everything is fine the pregnancy is going well i'm i'm also fine physically and all that thank you guys so much for all your concerns some people were really really concerned about it in the last video and i really i really appreciate you all for that some people actually put fear in me sha let me not even lie some of you put fear in me small small fear <laughs> And I was like, I, I refuse to, I refuse to allow it, I refuse to start thinking that way. You know, yeah, because in the last video, when people were asking me, hope is not preeclampsia, hope is not this, I was like, biko, biko no, biko no. <laughs> you know, so I didn't want to think about it in that light, but yeah, everything is fine, so... I'm just going to reduce stress. Why are you bringing their food here? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.